Hey everyone, uh, I'm back here with another episode of Ostriv. Now, uh, last time around we got into the fall of the second year. Uh, I believe it's the second year. Uh, yeah, is we're one year from the settlement start date. So, uh, I've got uh, a village house queued and a trading post queued. Uh, we definitely need that for... Uh, for the uh, ongoing uh, game here. Uh, we've got a farm operating. Uh, so that's uh, that's good. Uh, so we've actually got uh, buckwheat and uh, uh, what else have we got? Potatoes. So uh, we should be good for basic uh, resources. Uh, we've also got fishermen operating. Uh, so our villagers are basically fed. Now uh, we need to get the uh, get the population up a bit here, and that's going to involve building some houses. But we also need a trading post, and we're going to need a town hall, which I'm going to place over. Uh, I'm going to place it over here. Uh, what's down this way? Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll place it over here. Uh, now, around the town hall, I guess we'll build sort of a town square here. Uh, right, uh, no, turn it the other way. Yep, so I'm going to place the town hall here. Now, this will give us uh, a little bit more uh, control over our uh, finances and so on uh, so I'm going to I'm going to build it because uh, not having it is hamstringing things so then we can adjust the um, the rents and stuff and possibly get closer to breaking even I haven't quite understood the economy in in Austria yet so I'm not sure how close to breaking even we can actually get uh, anyway I'll uh, let the uh, the game run here. We've got another month or so where the fishing boats can continue to operate, and then when we get into uh, December, when the when the river freezes, I'll fire the fishermen, and then I'll be able to uh, throw some more on uh, on the uh, uh, construction, uh, and that should allow us to get uh, like. Let's see here. We've got. Yeah, we've got somebody working in the carpentry. Uh, we don't have anybody working in the boat yard. Um, we do need somebody working in the boat yard to repair boats. Uh, that's uh, definitely important. So, uh, so we'll definitely uh, hire a worker there. Uh, and uh, yeah, so when this house goes up, uh, we'll have another family come in, so we'll have a couple more workers. Uh, so uh, we've got a couple of women looking for jobs and a vacancy for men. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're a bit, little bit short. Uh, so we've got a family coming. Uh, so, so that's good. Uh, yeah, yeah, so this is good. Uh, this will help our uh, labor situation. That's the thing. We need to have enough people in the village to cover off the needs of the, uh, the, the labor needs. But we need to make sure we don't expand so fast that we outstrip our resources. And that, that's really important. I've done this a few times. And I've actually had uh, villages up around 500 residents. But once they started getting that big, I started having resource issues because I didn't uh, I didn't plan things well enough. Okay, so we're coming up on the end of October here. Um, right, so th these fishing boats here are definitely going to need repair soon. Uh, right, uh, so uh, okay, we're into November. It's at the end of November that the snow flies and the river freezes. So you actually have until the middle or end of November, really, to get the uh, harvest done on your farms. Uh, and you, you know, and, and ideally, you want to get the uh, crops uh, 
picked up as well. Uh, the, the harvest picked up by then. But you can continue picking up the harvest through the winter. Uh, it's not ideal, but you can. I'm not sure if it degrades over the winter or not, but when it comes to the next planting season, any crops left on the field are lost for sure. Uh, okay, so we've got another... Okay, so yeah, we've got... Uh... We've got full employment on what we've uh, we've got uh, hired right now. Uh, right. Okay. So we'll get another house up. Then we'll get the trading post up. Yeah. There's the house. Uh, so, yeah. And then uh, then the town hall, and that will get rid of one of these tents. And then I'll build a storage. I think. Uh, what's in here still? Uh, iron. Okay, yeah, that, once it depletes, will, uh, will dismantle on its own. Uh, right. So let's just take a look in the resources here. Uh, we might need another well soon. Right, yeah, okay. Um, now, over here... Uh, how are these? Yeah, th those are going to need... Uh... Okay, so we got some fish stored up there, so that's good. Uh, right. So in the spring, the farm will uh, start up again. Uh, we'll definitely want to have some labor available for that, as we'll have two fields going. Um, right. So, and here... No, here we've got potatoes, buckwheat, yeah, okay, yeah, we're selling everything we need to. Uh, okay, so the snow is here. Uh, so we'll fire the fishermen. Uh, right, and we're going to go in here, and we're going to hire builders. Uh, right, okay, so uh, we'll see if we can get things built uh, fairly quickly over the winter. Uh, we're up to 40 people in the town, so so that's uh, kind of good. Uh, I want the trading post up uh, ASAP so that we can get the uh, get trading with our neighbors up, because we might get a lucrative trade offer, uh, or at least a good trade offer. Uh, I'd be uh, happy to purchase something for uh, food variety. Uh, right, okay. Uh, I'm going to put up another market stall. Uh, while I'm thinking about it. Uh, right. Uh, so we'll put another market stall right about here. And this one, again, will hire women. And uh, we'll hire one. And I think, what should we sell here? Well, I'm going to sell firewood just so there's something in there. So it's not completely pointless. Now, uh, this, how are we doing here? Uh, well, we're making progress on the trading post. A trading post is quite expensive to, uh, to build. So, yeah. So we got a couple of men looking for jobs. So what isn't staffed? Well, the carpentry staffed. The smithy staffed. Forestry is staffed. That staffed. Okay, yeah, we sh we're okay. We can we can let them weather the winter. Okay, and this is uh, going up. Yeah, it's about two thirds done now. Uh, in the spring, I'll hire the fishermen back. Uh, just because, well, you know, having the fish coming in is a good idea. Uh, right. Okay, so it's going up. Um, yeah, it's quite a big building as well. See, we're dropping fairly fast here uh, on the uh, cash, which is why I want to get the town hall up so we can uh, adjust the budget stuff. There we go. We have the trading post. Uh, we will hire a manager at the trading post. Uh, yeah. Uh, good. Now, uh, this needs to go up, and then I'm, I'm thinking 
maybe a couple more houses which I can put up along here in a row. Uh, just like so. So that gives us a couple of parallel streets there. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm going to put up more houses because we're definitely going to need more residents. Um, right. Uh, now, I'm not going to pay to send an emissary to, uh, to one of the other towns. Uh, they will send a representative soon enough. Uh, so yeah, there, there's there's no need to uh, to do that. Uh, okay, so we're in January. Uh, we go into the end of February before everything thaws. Uh, so yeah, so the town hall should go up this winter, and then uh, then we should be uh, pretty pretty well off actually. Uh, for uh, for getting for keeping things moving, uh, yeah. So you know, as you can see, Ostrif is not a particularly difficult game. Uh, it does uh, it does take a bit of uh, uh, messing about to really get a feel for it. Uh, I've been playing it off and on for a year or more, and that's how I've come to this particular sequence that I've started the game with. Uh, you know, getting the, uh, the some houses up right away. The uh, these these buildings. Uh, we're going to need to trade for iron soon enough, because uh, we don't have mining yet uh, or at all. So uh, so there's that. Uh, we're down to almost almost down to six hundred on the money, uh, which uh, yeah, we definitely need to get something going so that we. Uh, we can uh, sort everything out now. Uh, okay, we're starting to build the uh, city hall now. Uh, so, yep, that's good. Uh, right. Oh, look, we got a floor up. Now we're putting up walls. I kind of like that, uh, the animation of the building actually going up. I uh, know obviously it's not completely realistic, but it's it's kind of cool. You actually see the workers doing their thing. Uh, obviously, since time is compressed, like in all of these games, it uh, you know you're not going to put the effort into a huge amount of detail. And quite frankly, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, I can't pronounce his name. Uh, that makes the game has done a phenomenal job, considering he's one guy. Uh, this is actually phenomenally well done. Uh, I I don't know how he he managed it, but he has. And you know, considering this is what he's calling an alpha release, this is absolutely phenomenal. Like yeah, AAA stuff is often not nearly as as good uh, on a uh, a f a full official release. So yeah. Uh, this is actually a phenomenal game. So here's our town hall, um, and we're coming up on the end of February. I'm going to slow down the uh, game time when we get there. And then uh, I'm going to hire the, well, I'm going to fire a couple of builders. Oh, come on. There we go. And I'm going to hire uh, the fishermen back. Yeah. Okay, and we've got the uh, the fields being uh, planted there. Uh, at some point, we want to get plows going and livestock and so on, but we're not there yet. We don't have the resources to manage that yet. Uh, so I want to slow that down, and I want to go into the economy panel. Now, if we increase the basic wage, our income, our expenses go up. So as you can see, our income for the previous year was 273, and our expenses were 509. Uh, now I'm going to raise the rent um, by 50 percent, uh, and I'm going to uh, raise the market price by 30 percent, and. 
I'm going to drop the base monthly wage a bit here. And then we'll see how that does. Uh, as I said, I don't quite have a handle on the economy, so I'm not sure what, how that's going to do. We definitely need more uh, villagers in here, though. Uh, as we can see, the money is still going down here. So, uh, right. Uh, now, what else do I need? Uh, well, the storage, probably. Uh, what, we're storing a whole bunch of food in there. So, what we need... Uh, What's this? Nothing. He hasn't got those in yet. Uh, a granary. That's what we need here. Uh, so I'm going to uh, drop a, a granary in by the town hall. Uh, and I'm going to move that to the head of the build queue. Uh, just so it gives us somewhere to store the food. Uh, we're just about done sewing on that... Uh, that field and this one should be fallow yeah uh, okay so the farm is operational uh, it looks like I could get away with adding a couple more fields there uh, I'll probably do that next time around uh, but, uh, yeah so we'll just uh, get the uh, game time uh, progressing uh, okay and uh, Right. What's this here? Uh, okay, so here, well, let's look at the world map. Uh, uh, messenger cost to Balaklia, or whatever. Uh, Cost 80, descended to Durkachi, and Marifa is 95. So, you know, it's based on the distance. Um, yeah. Uh, I think uh, I think I want to wait for, for uh, a messenger to come in at the moment. Uh, what I want to do is look at this. So we're losing less money so far uh, this... Uh, this year uh, but we could end up uh, bankrupting uh, our citizens if we ah uh, okay so let's uh, slow this down uh, we've got a messenger from uh, from over here so they're offering salt and lime and they're they demand stuff that we're not willing to sell um okay well uh that's not going to be useful uh oh something that is uh important is uh uh we need some burial plots for when the uh for when the uh, uh first uh villagers die so I'm actually going to set a few up over here. Set up a cemetery over here. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is way more than we need, but I'm just going to uh, put these here uh, now uh, so that I don't forget. And we're going to put a uh, fence uh, around here. We're going to put a uh, arch archway, maybe. Uh, no, no, we're going to put a fence, um, 
We'll grab fence two and we'll bring it out from here. Uh, and we'll bring it out this way. Okay, so that should mean that the uh, cemetery type uh, entrance is uh, over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it should mean that. Okay. Uh, that's probably not the ideal spot for that, but keeps it out of the way, and that's kind of why I put it there. And now we have a bit of a cemetery for when the first uh, villagers die. Uh, and that's a, an important thing to, uh, to do here. Okay, so these... Uh, boats have been uh, maintained so so yeah that's good uh right now uh, let's just uh, uh boost time again you know up the tempo and then we'll see how everything is going uh it's looking like this is going to be about one one game year per episode uh, this uh, this particular playthrough so uh, I think that's about what we can expect uh, now uh, as far as uh, Ostriv goes uh, once I've done this playthrough I'm probably not going to do another one right away uh, I'll probably wait until at least the early access release on Steam but maybe a little bit longer uh, I mean, I'll come back to it when there's new stuff like the uh, health and education uh, bits are uh, implemented. Uh, probably. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, actually, but uh, that's probably what I'll do. Uh, it just seems like a uh, logical thing to, uh, to do. Uh, is, uh, as you can see, uh, it would get tedious watching this over and over and over again. It, it goes basically the same every time. The maps are always the same. Uh, and what you need to do early on is always the same. Now, what you end up doing later on varies, but it's largely a micromanagement game, and uh, uh, and as a result, uh, you can end up uh, really getting bogged down. Uh, so once you've seen it once, you probably don't need to see it, you know, again and again and again. Uh, you know, there's an element of that with other games as well, but it's more so with with Ostriv. And games like it than uh, that was something like Transport Fever 2 where you can pick a random map and you don't know quite what you're going to get. Now there is an element of random chance to Ostriv where you don't know what trade offers you're going to get. Uh, you know, it didn't used to be random, but it is now. Uh, so you don't always know what trade offers you're going to get and things like that. And that can really change what you end up doing. But there aren't any random events that uh, really mess with things. So, okay, in our granary, we're going to store buckwheat. And we're going to store basically as much of it as we can. And potatoes, which we're also going to store a big chunk of it. Uh, right, okay. And uh, now what can we... We'll hire the women to run the uh, run the place. Um, right. Okay. So now we're going to be uh, moving stuff from the farm to the uh, to the granary. Uh, now I'm not in any big hurry for that to happen. You know, it can happen when there's labor available. Uh, but uh, you know, we definitely want the uh, the food to be stored in here. Uh, so, so that's, uh, uh, let's, uh, open up a second vacancy there. Um, yeah, uh, we'll do that. Uh, and that should keep the, uh, granary supplied from the farm. Uh, now, higher options, laborers, you know, resource supply. Will allow laborer by cart. Uh, oh, come on. We, yeah, laborer by cart. 
and laborer by hands. So the laborer by hands will allow women. Cart only allows men. Uh, okay, so uh, oh, we've got a another messenger here. So let's go and take a look. They're offering iron and uh, livestock, uh, and they want flour and sallow. Okay, uh, I'm going to grab some uh, iron because uh, then I won't forget to uh, to buy it uh, w before it runs out right because building things gets difficult if you can't make nails uh, right okay now oh we got another uh, uh, village house went up uh, yeah okay let's take a look in here uh, drinking water. Yeah, I think we need to build a well. Uh, where, where is, uh, there we go. Uh, a well. Uh, build another well. Uh, I'll put it over here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you definitely don't want to run out of water. And we'll bump that to the start of the build queue. Uh, right. Okay. So, overall, uh, I think this game isn't doing too bad. Uh, we're going to need uh, some workers here to uh, unload wagons. Uh, uh, so, what I'm going to do is fire these guys so that the uh, we can hire. There we go. Uh, trade wagon. Uh, okay, so we've got workers here. Uh, we're unloading the trade wagon. we got the second tr trade wagon coming. Oh, come on. Let me click on it, would you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and that's the important thing, too. You've got to... Uh... Good. Okay, so we've imported some resources successfully. Let's uh, rehire the builders. Okay, so that means that we've got uh, more iron. Uh, and it occurs to me a warehouse would be a good idea. Uh, uh, that'd be here, warehouse. So I'm going to put the warehouse. No, uh, I'm going to put the warehouse. I'm going to put a warehouse. Uh, we need a slightly finer uh, uh, rotational controls here. Anyway, uh, build a warehouse, and then I'll move the iron into it, and we'll store up uh, lumber and so on in it as well. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we're building more, uh, more houses, and... Uh, right. Uh, so drinking water is uh, increasing. That's good. Uh, food levels are staying uh, pretty solid, so that's good. Uh, what else can we uh, store in here? Can we store fish in here? Uh, yeah, let's store fish in here as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, good. Uh, okay. Ah, our uh, tent here has gone away, so uh, that means our uh, smithy has uh, you has has acquired all of the uh, the iron. Yeah, it's uh, taking from what we just bought now. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's uh, trade in a nutshell for imports. Anyway. Uh, obviously, I'm still uh, losing money here, so I'm going to need to adjust things. But more uh, villagers paying rent will help. And then if we can get some stuff up for export, uh, that would be good as well. So let's look at the economy. Uh, yeah, we're still... Uh, because we, we have uh, more workers working, I think, and that's why uh, 
uh, so let's drop the uh, laborer's wage to below the basic monthly wage. Yeah, uh, that I think we kind of need to do. Uh, so the import has been was 240. So if we take 240 off or add 240 to this, uh, then that's uh, 240 down. Uh, so yeah, we've we've had uh, additional uh, costs here. Um, right. Uh, okay. So having done that, uh, okay, we've got another house up. Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, we've got uh, we've got the, a couple houses in the uh, build queue. Uh, it's uh, late summer and or early fall, depending on how you measure that. And uh, uh, basically, uh, the game is progressing. We're not doing too badly. Uh, we could be doing a little bit better if I figured the economy out. Uh, as far as I can tell in this current build, having negative money doesn't really cause you any pain. But that will probably change at some point in the future. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this time. Uh, so I'll see you back probably next week with another episode of Ostrich.